strength for life. Darling, I can see your heart. We are so far away. I'm going to be cleaning this nest today. You'd be needing a 3.8 or 4.5 millimeter security screwdriver. What you're going to be doing is unscrewing the screws, the bottom front of the Super Nintendo cartridge. Today we'll be cleaning Super Mario Kart, which was found at a flea market today. It was rescued from the wild. So what we're doing is taking a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, just dipping it in there a little bit. Now removing the cover, as you can see the motherboard. We're going to be cleaning the cartridge pins and the front looks a little bit dirty. So we're taking that Q-tip. There's the isopropyl alcohol. We're just taking a little bit, dabbing it on there. And what we're just going to do is just go around in a circular motion, making sure that we get every pin and we also get in between the crevices. Holy crap, that's dirty. See how dirty it is? Yeah, now let's take a better look. Yep, right there. Oh, my goodness. Going back to cleaning in a circular motion. That circular motion really helps to cover your bases, cover your ground. As they say in the out old west, dot your I's and cross your T's there, partner. Oh, it's really bad. And so we found this cartridge at a uh, flea market, and it wasn't like organized or anything. This guy just had a tarp out with a bunch of electronics, keyboards, cell phone chargers, old phones just scattered all over the place and we found this in a tote bin, so we're lucky. This is a beautiful game, awesome game, very fun to play. And what we're doing there is just kind of making sure that the tip is still a little bit wet, but not too wet. And so now we're just kind of going around the edges of the motherboard just to pick up any leftover debris, dust, dirt. This weekend sin. Just so that if there is dirt laying around, it can cause issues with how the game performs or if any of the parts of the battery may have leaked and make sure that everything is nice and clean. Turning it over, we grab another Q-tip, dip it in some rubbing alcohol, and again, go in a circular motion, making sure that we get every single pin and in between the crevices you know it's always good to clean from behind you don't want anything dirty back there just in case you have company I'm going around parts of the motherboard making sure everything is clean wow look how dirty that is like it's starting to get pretty darn shiny there. Now once that's done, we're cleaning the outer front shell because we want it to look good. This is a retro game, not a reproduction game. It's part of our collection. We're proud to have it part of our collection. We want this to look brand new. We also want it to stay in good condition. Look how dirty that is. So 
such a shame. But we rescued it. These retro games are an endangered species. If I could play that one song from Sarah McLaughlin, I would. For 10 cents a day. Something, something, something can save a retro game. Actually, these things go for way more than that. I'm trying to keep this clean really helps your game stay in pristine condition. And look good. Flipping over the back, making sure that the edges are nice and clean. Taking the Q-tip and just kind of going around in a circular motion so that we catch everything. Every dirt, speck, grime, grease, sins from the weekend. As you can tell, it actually is paying off. It's starting to look a lot more shinier. It's starting to look like it's brand new. Almost makes me want to pay 50 bucks for the... There. And so you want to keep going in a circular motion. Helps kind of clean a little bit faster, but also making sure that you're crossing and not missing any areas. And then with the little groove inlines, just take your time in there. Make sure you get those little slots. And putting the screws back on. Don't put them on too tight, just enough. Where you feel a little bit of tightness at the bottom. The same with the other screw. And there you go. Nice and secure, nothing moving around. really clean like it's brand new wow look at that nice and shiny get that reflection <whistles> for the last finishing touch we'll put on the security bottom plastic cover that no dirt comes in in pristine condition and ready to go back on the shelf. Trend for life.